super excited today. I say this every single time, but this episode today is going to be of a help for you. We're going to tackle the challenging but essential task of eliminating toxic people from your life. This is a vital step for you to become a better leader, to live a healthier and more balanced life. So let's dive right in and learn how to identify and remove toxicity from your lives. So how do we identify toxic people? Well, first, we need to identify who these toxic individuals are. Who are they? What are the common traits of toxic people? We all know this, but a lot of times we give people a pass, don't we? We go ahead and forgive someone a hundred times, 500 times, a thousand times over decades. But I want you right now to have an open mind and look at these common traits of what a toxic person that may be in your life right now. Do they have constant negativity? Do they show manipulative behavior? Do they have a lack of empathy? Are they unreliable? And do they have tons of excessive drama? So now that you know these common traits of toxic people, it's time to pay attention to how they make you feel. If interactions consistently leave you feeling drained, after you're with them, you feel stressed or belittled. That's a big one, guys. Are you feeling belittled? Chances are, I'm going to say 100%, you're dealing with a toxic person. So let's walk the self-aware leader way. We're going to walk down that path, and here's how we're going to fix this. Number one, we're setting boundaries. Boundaries are crucial for maintaining healthy relationships and safeguarding your mental well-being. So when you're handling these toxic individuals, you have to establish clear boundaries because that minimizes the negative impact that is in your life. You don't realize how negative they are being to you because you've given them a pass to the point of anytime something happens, oh, I was 15 minutes late to work. Oh, I had to call in sick. Oh, I couldn't go see my best friend because they're jealous. Do you see the negative impact that they have on your life? And cumulative, if you add all of it up, it can destroy you. It could cause you to be at a three or four or five in your life when you should be at an eight, nine, or 10. And this can be done by deservedly communicating your limits. You need to communicate your limits to toxic people. And you need to limit your time spent together. And I want to give you a key right now. When you're dealing with talk to people, maybe it's a family member or something like that, you need to avoid sharing personal information. You may get caught up in the negative drama and then you start sharing. You've got to be logical enough to where you understand that addiction to that drama emotion. And I'm going to teach you something right now. The most powerful thing you can do with a toxic individual is learn to say no when needed. So let's go on to the next. I want us to look at assessing the relationship. Take time to evaluate your relationship with the toxic person. And I want you to get a pen and paper out right now because we're going to reflect on some questions, some self-aware questions and you can look at this relationship and with these questions, decide whether you want to be in it or not. Number one question, does this person bring value 
to your life. Let me say this again. Does this person bring value to your life? Number two, do they support your personal and professional growth? Or are they jealous of you? Mm, that's a big one, isn't it? Third, is the relationship worth the emotional toll it takes on you? <laughs> is it a bank account and they're just taking withdrawals all the time and there's never any deposits? There should be more deposits than withdrawals. That's a healthy relationship. If you're constantly putting deposits in other people's emotional bank accounts and you just have to take a withdrawal every once in a while so they can help you, that's awesome. But if you are constantly giving, 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 and they're taking, 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 it's a toxic person, guys. If the answers of these questions I just gave you are mostly negative, it's time to consider cutting ties. So how do I do that? How do I cut ties with the toxic person? How do I get them out of my life? Well, you have to approach the situation thoughtfully. So I'm going to give you some more steps here. I'm always giving steps, guys, so you can understand this. So follow these steps. Number one, gradually reduce contact. This allows both parties to adjust. You've got to stop the urge from responding to the text. You've got to stop the urge from responding to the FaceTime, the call over and over and over and over again. You have to start asserting your independence and putting yourself first. Let them understand by your actions, not your words, because you don't want to get argue with them, that you're reducing contact. This allows both parties to adjust. Next is be assertive if confronted. This is where you're self-aware. You've got to stay in that logical mind. You cannot let them manipulate you. That's their power. That's what they love to do. They love to manipulate. Avoid unnecessary conflict. And then next, seek support from friends and family. Focus on personal and professional growth. When you are seeking support from friends and family, you're creating a network of people that believe in you, people that truly love you. And then when you focus on personal and professional growth, you're getting this double whammy in a good way because you have like this protective shield. One, you're focusing on you mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually you're focusing on you making yourself a better person and what that looks like i'm going to the gym i'm doing this i'm doing this and then you have the friends and family when you get down and out when you get kind of feeling kind of low you can call on that person or those people in your life that are healthy and they can help you through it do you want to become a better leader and individual well this is the hard part you have to move forward you have to remove toxic individuals out of your life because once you remove them out of your life, then you're able to be focusing on your growth and well-being. Now, what a lot of you have a hard time doing, if you're really, really honest with yourself, is cultivating healthy relationships. Because you've had so many toxic relationships in your life, you don't know how to cultivate a healthy relationship. And this is easier than you think. It's just a different paradigm. If you're willing to heal and you're willing to work on yourself, the universe will provide people in your life and surround yourself with people that will give you a positive influence. If you work on your self-awareness and leadership skills, you're going to attract, keyword, not toxic people, but healthy people. And in that process of on-the-job training where you're working with them, guess what's going to happen? They are going to like you. You're going to start having healthy relationships with people. When you begin to take care of yourself, you will become a more effective and compassionate person. This is the key. I'm going to be done with this, guys. Removing toxic people from your life is crucial for your personal and professional growth. I know it's tough, 
but it is a necessary journey and it will lead to a healthier, more balanced life. Identify the toxic individuals, set boundaries, assess those relationships that you're in now and cut ties. Be quick to cut ties when needed. And I guarantee you, you'll be on your way to becoming a more self-aware and successful leader.